I'm Kevin from the School of Music and today I'd like to present some some ideas about improvisation and composition and I'd like to show that by a card trick. I'm calling this the three card trick and I'm going to show you a set of three cards and it's sort of a game here. It's kind of a silly game but I want those that are watching to try to guess what the pattern is. So try to guess what the fourth card is. So we have the Jack of Clubs, the Queen of Clubs, and the King of Clubs. So see if you can figure out what the fourth card would be. So here's the fourth card. Here's the next one, the Queen of Diamonds. So here's another set of three. We have the two of spades, the three of spades, and the four of spades. So guess what the fourth card would be. So here's the fourth card, the jack of diamonds. Okay, one more. So we have the eight of hearts, the nine of hearts and the ten of hearts. So again, try to guess what that fourth card would be. Eight, nine, ten, whatever. So here is the fourth card, the nine of diamonds. So what I'm trying to illustrate with this is that in music you want to have a balance of repetition and variation and what we have here are the three cards, a sequence of three. There's an obvious pattern and what we want is to have our listener be able to engage in that and understand on some level that there's a pattern or a sequence or something but then we don't want them to guess the next thing we're going to do, hence the fourth card. Now the fourth card, if you could figure that out, that's amazing because I'm just randomly pulling them out of the deck but the point is that we want to have a surprise. We want our listener to be able to figure out on some level what we're doing to engage in that but then always have something new something that surprises them that we don't know about so an example of that would be like happy birthday so happy birthday has basically four phrases we have this that's the first one second phrase and then third phrase and fourth phrase. So the first three phrases are kind of variations on each other but they're, they're pretty much the same idea. And then there's that same prefix, the same prefix, And then this part seems to be the, the different part. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate now using the G minor pentatonic and maybe some blues ideas what um, what this can be uh, in terms of improvisation. So here's the G minor pentatonic scale. A lot of you know that. that maybe I'll, I'll cheat a little bit and do some other things but I'm going to try to demonstrate the same idea of using these threes these groups of threes to improvise So I did a couple things there with the pentatonic scale. I basically did it three times. And I did some other things. But I did that three times. And the idea was, even though I probably changed it a little bit every single time, 
I basically had three repetitions of the same idea and then I went somewhere else. If I just played the same thing over and over and over again, it would be boring and repetitive. And if I had nothing that was repeating and, and no connection to anything, it would just sound completely random. So this is one way to deal with that. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any other questions, please come see us at the School of Music. Thanks. See you soon.